So this is one example of how the communication divide happens across generations. Right? You want to. One generation is going to want to meet with you face to face, another generation might want to uh, email you, and then there's next, another generation that has no problem texting you while they're sitting right next to you, right? So let, let me offer you up your strategy if this is something that you're wrestling with, and that is to defer your communications. Use generations as clues, right? We have to defer to how we believe the communicate KT would like to communicate, and then we also have to ensure mobility throughout all of our communications. This is the lens in which the emerging generations view the world. And so any communications, any touch point with a customer or crew member, we have to be thinking that through the lens of mobile. That changes the duration, that changes the frequency, that changes everything. We've got to be thinking about that. So let me give you one example here of a, of a platform called Canvas. And Canvas is the world's first text-based interviewing platform. It shifts recruiters' conversations to the preferred channel of millennial and Gen Z candidates, which is texting. So organizations that are using Canvas the entire first interview is all text-based. It's just a text message exchange, and that's the first interview. And why that's so critical is because so many of, of my audiences and organizations that use Canvas are thinking it it's, works so well because Gen Z is not picking up the phone call of our recruiters. They're not responding to the emails of our recruiters, but they sure as heck are, are responding to text messages. And so this is a great example of a tool that you can use, or any kind of tool, or just be thinking about how can you implement something or start thinking about how do I defer to this other generation? Or how do I defer to how they want to communicate? Because it doesn't matter how I want to communicate, it matters on how the person's going to receive that information and actually do something with it.